In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a CTB file to your AutoCAD support folder. I'm going to show you how to find the path to the support folder in AutoCAD. Um, and basically, I'm going to show you this, of course, on a Windows version. I'm using the AutoCAD LT 2024 version. Um, and one last thing to add, this video assumes you know how to create a CTB file or you already have one from someone else and you just want to load it in your like system, basically. Okay, uh, and this video is also helpful if you want to send a CTB file that you use or you created to someone else. So let's jump into it. So here in this drawing, I will go to the printing window, okay? Uh, and then when I, I've already have the printing set up already for the paper size and the printer, but as you can see, the plot style table right here is set to none. And basically, I want to add a different one that's called JCAD. That CTB to this list, okay? Uh, I can create a new one, but that's not the topic of this video. Uh, and anyway, the like the end result is basically I would like this drawing uh, to print out in black and white, essentially, instead of being colored using the settings I have in the CTB file, okay? So to do that, what I will do is I'll close this window first. I will go to the options window in AutoCAD, and you can do that by typing OP and then hitting the enter button. And then from here, we're going to go to the files. And then here you will see like the path to different support files that support the current version of AutoCAD you're using. And then from this one, you're going to locate printer support file path. I'm going to expand that. And then here you will find one called plot style table search path. Now I'm going to expand that. And then from here, I will get essentially this address uh, for the file of like for the folder that contains the plot styles that come with this AutoCAD version, okay? So what I will do is I want to access this in my system. Um, so what I will do is I will just click on it again with the mouse, and that will allow me to select the folder path. Uh, I will right-click, and then I will do copy. Now I will go to the File Explorer and open that folder, basically. Okay, so I will click here in the path, and then I'm going to paste it. Okay, and I'm going to hit enter, and that will take me directly to the folder within the AutoCAD support folders for the CTB files. Now, I already have my CTB, like I mentioned, it's right here, jcad.ctb. What I will do is I will copy it, basically. Let's just do this. Okay, I think this is the copy. Okay, it's Windows 11, I'm not used to it, but anyway. Uh, and then from here, I'm going to do paste. So this is the icon. Now I have jcad.ctb loaded within my AutoCAD uh, folders. So now when we go back to AutoCAD, uh, you might get this window. I'm just going to say this card for now. I will do, I'll go back to the printing window. So I'm going to do Command P or Control P. And then from here, from plot style table, we should be able to see jcad now as an option. We don't see it yet. I'm going to click X. And then maybe I'll just switch to the model, tab, back to the layout. I'm just basically giving the system some time to load it. Uh, and again, back to printing. Let's see if it loaded. And here we go. It's loaded at this point. I will switch to that. I'll apply to layout. And now I will do preview. And here we go. We get the print the way I wanted it to be using the pen settings from the CTB file that I have. Now, this is not the only way to actually add a CTB file to AutoCAD or, or plot style, basically. But this is the one that actually involves going directly within the system folders of your AutoCAD version and allows you to add it directly there. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment, and I'll see you in the next video.